happy to have you here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to test the water. I already have you had you drink it because why <laughs> why not? So let's see what you've been yeah. drinking. But thank you so much for joining. Oh no! Well, listen, it's my pleasure. I mean, I I love this because when we sat down in London, we agreed that we were going to do something, and here we are doing it. And I mean, I, it is incredible. I know it's a, a grey day, but in a way that makes it even more beautiful here. You know, we were talking about this lake and uh, why Finland might be the happiest place in the world, but. Finns live close to water and you spend a lot of time close to water. Yeah. So, you know, in the UK, I think what we've done is we've lost that connection with water. And what we're seeing is, is um, that waterways are treated in a very bad way. And I think our hypothesis was actually the Finns might be treating their water better. So here we are. We haven't done it. We're going to test the water. Uh, and then we're going to do a comparison in the UK yeah. uh, just to kind of demonstrate the point. But yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, likewise. And for the Finnish view, this is Saksjärvi. And yes, we have a lot of regulation in place. But if we look at this beautiful landscape, it is very much protected. I think this is really awesome to have it regulated I, in a totally. way that it makes it something that we can pass on to the next generation. So welcome to Nurmiarvi. And let's get cracking on the testing. So, Monica, we're going to um, go and take a sample using this tube. And basically, yes. you'll see there's this scale down the tube. Yeah. Um, and you see the checkerboard at the bottom. Yeah. Basically, we fill this with water. And we look to see the bottom. And depending on where that ends up, then we get a reading from the tube. But looking at the water... Yeah, I was like, looking at the water. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think yeah, we're going to have any problem. Hey, but the see. other thing is, is we take observations in terms of colour. Yes, so cool. uh, when we take um, samples in the UK, the water is always uh, yellow or green Hot. or brown. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what colour we get from here. One of the things we do is just kind of wash it out. Yeah. But, I mean, you can see. Yeah. I mean, like, welcome to Finland. I mean, the, this is happiness built in. I mean, it, it is literally crystal clear. Yeah, I think we could uh, probably taste it. Let, let me have a taste. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Very it good. good. Yeah. Very good. Um, so what we're now going to do is take a small sample yeah. and we're going to be testing for phosphates and nitrates. So phosphates and nitrates, um, they would indicate sewage, yeah. like if there's sewage leaks here, or the other thing that it indicates is agricultural runoff. Yes. So, for instance, in the UK, we have farming yes. close to our rivers yeah. and lakes. Yeah. Uh, the farmers spread muck on their fields, yes. and when it rains, yes. that muck just goes straight into the waterways. True. So we also have, in the UK, um, a antiquated sewage system. Okay. So, again, when it rains, yeah. uh, that system gets over used yes. um, and gets contaminated yeah. with rainwater yeah. and then we get sewage going straight into our rivers and lakes as yeah. well and you know we're seeing the consequences yes. of that yeah. so you know it, it it's through the work i'm doing i'm beginning to realize just how badly we treat yeah. our waterways yeah and, and also if we look at the the future i mean like if we can't protect the waters we have nothing as, as we discussed we need to understand that we without water who it's, of course, one part of the energy or cooling or whatever in our core business, we have nothing. No, completely. So, it, so it's worth fighting for. And I'm really happy that we, like from the, the sauna in, in London to the sauna in Nurmiarvi, we are really drilling into what actually matters. What we're going to be doing is filling, Monica, these yeah. uh, little tubes with samples of water. Yeah giving them a shake, leaving them. Like a for, drug test. Yeah, and then we are going to have a look at okay. the corresponding colours on this. So as nice. you said, so uh, basically anything above 0.1 is bad. and 1 is bad. Okay. So we're hoping for yeah. nothing above. Yeah, we're hoping for light colours. Light colours, yes. we want light colours. Yeah, colors. we want light colours. So if we can, if I can give you this one, yep. and then I'm just going to take a sample of this water. So the brilliant thing about these kits is just how easy they are to use. Yep. 
um, and as a sort of citizen science yep. uh, person doing citizen science, it just means that you, you can kind of carry them with yeah, you. Yeah. And um, I mean, I wasn't stopped at the stop by customs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why have you got powder in a small <laughs> plastic container? Yeah, it's too small. So, um, and then we need to leave this for three minutes. Yep. The results are in and what we have is completely pollution free water. I mean, there's a sl slight, slight. Hint, slight hint of pinkness. Yeah, what does that mean? Just means there's maybe a bit of phosphate present, but you know. So no one peeing there or squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> it could be squirrels or yeah. no. But I, in the entire time I've been testing, I've never seen such clean results. And that includes actually testing the finish tap water this morning yeah. in the hotel. So, I, I mean, it just proves what you can do yeah. if you actually have respect for your waterways. Yeah. And I think the, the, the funny thing, of course, because of, of course we Finns are internally very competitive. You were staying in Helsinki. <laughs> we are in Nurmijärvi. Just saying. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. But no, I mean, I think, uh, honestly, I think the that the Finnish people should be yeah. proud of what they've got, but also, you know, this is a rallying cry that when you think about water and the, the, the kind of future of the world, respect for water is, I think, one of the primary things. Yes. You know, really thinking about how we treat water, waterways with respect is, is kind of completely critical. You know, what's interesting about, for me about this is, like my journey started six months yeah. ago as a citizen scientist and here I am in Finland, yeah. you know, testing water and I think it's really powerful. Like you saw how easy it is to, yes. you can imagine kids going out and testing waterways. And I, yeah, and I think that's an awesome idea because when they understand whether it be how to fight climate change, it's not about fighting it, it's about how do we preserve the good things. Definitely. I think that's also like, how we phrase it. We talk about crisis, it's true, it is true, but crisis often leads to panic, panic leads to paralyzation or doing stuff. And it's so easy to say, it's so big, I can't do anything, it's the government. Definitely. But it's not true, it's not true. You Definitely. are a good advocate for that. Anyone who stands up actually can have an impact. Exactly, so you can choose, be part of the problem or part of the solution. De it's up to you. Definitely. It's a choice.